Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever it is, wherever you are, it's Mecha Jam, <clears throat> and we're back with more Battletech Advanced 3062. Let's start with the game screen. We got a little bit of mech editing to do, and then I'm going to do Johann's, the Johann's Jaeger's challenge mission today. I think that's the plan for today. So, uh, let's start with the game scene, and let's get into it, shall we? All right, so I did... Do I did did set the Mac? I did actually do. I did build the Mackie. Um, basically, I replaced the regular PPCs with ER PPCs. I replaced the AC20 with a Gauss rifle, threw in a light engine and mask, and some more armor, and some heat sinking, and some fire control systems on the Gauss rifle and PPCs. It should be pretty solid. It should be a good long range sniper that you know is not pathetically slow because it's got the uh, the mask, but it won't be fast. <clears throat> That's the plan with it. All right, I do want to rebuild two mechs before we do Johans Jaegers. I want to rebuild the fire star. Basically, I think I'm going to need control against, against Johans Jaegers. So we're going to pull... As much as I enjoy this build, I'm actually going to save this, actually. All right. That way I can rebuild it if I want to. All right, we're going to pull the guns. And we're going to pull the ECM because I don't have room for it for the build I want to do. And we're going to pull a little bit of armor off in a second. All right, weapons. We are going to slap on this DXR we got from uh, the Black Market, which is a... It's basically an ammo-less plasma rifle. It has less range, but this is a fast unit, so it can, it can actually take advantage of it. Um, right, and we're going to swap the light engine into an XL. Then we pull a little bit less than a half ton of armor off. Add a little bit, a little bit extra here. Back to the legs. All right, and then we're just gonna we're building into a heat boat. Is the it's the plan? I could run the AOE flamers, but they're less actual total heat. I mean, they're more total. Are they how much total heat are they? What's the AOE heat? Additional heat is five. It's five additional heat. Yeah, it's the same total heat. It's just an AOE. How much is the, what's the range like? 90 meters. Yeah, the regular flame is a better range. That's why I wanted to use those. There we go. It is a fire starter. It does fire starter things. But it's got the DXR, which is... It does 30 heat. It sets it sets the plasma debuff. So, yeah. That's one mech we're doing. We're, we're getting, I'm adding some heat capability because uh, I'm not sure how 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 reliable we'll be able to handle this. So, I want a bit of control. Also, it feels piratey, honestly. All right. Um, we're going to slap a web targeting computer onto you. We're going to slap three plasma rifles on. All right. And maybe I have to ditch the ferrofib armor for space reasons. We need we we need space basically. Okay, we are. That's not too bad. All right, we're gonna throw on one more, just a random medium laser. We're overheating by twenty, but we're not gonna be using the medium lasers all that often. Like, this is mostly about the triple plasma rifles, basically. Those are backup guns. So I'm actually willing to take the overheat here a little bit. 
Like, our Alpha Strike, it builds 21 heat, which is more than I'd like it to. But we just don't have the tonnage for uh, more stuff, so... All right, it's one day. It's it's a fast refit. We should be able, this should be a fine. Logged and be and what am I gonna throw into storage? I mean, what do we do? What do we not use? Like legitimately. Um. As good as the Wraith, Wraith is, I don't. Do I use you? Like, this is actually a good mech, like, legitimately. Like, I like, the, I, I, I like both these mechs, but I don't I just don't use you very often. Well, we'll see what we get from, if, if we, assuming we complete the, uh, Johans Jaeger's challenge. We'll see what we get from, uh. There's a reward for doing the Owens Jaegers thing. You get a free mech. We'll see what mech we get, and we'll decide what we put into storage right after that. I do need more space, but I'll, I'll figure that out later. All right. Johans Jaegers. This is a this is a spicy fight. Oh, we're doing the urban. Okay. Honestly, I'm actually pretty happy with this loadout. Let me let me be real. All right, let's go. I actually like this loadout. Like I could bring the galleon instead of something here, but I think this is all good. Let's go. All right. This is gonna be raw. This is gonna be tough. Yon Jaegers, it's Yon Jaegers is probably the easiest of the three challenge missions that uh, challenge, event challenge missions. Uh, between that, um, BTA calling and the BTA challenge and uh, Kringle's killers. Um, once you're used to BTA, the BTA challenge, that's actually very doable, but it can occasionally catch you up. They're, they've got a couple of mechs where that will just abs can, can absolutely flatten you. Da, 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 da. All right, let's go. Hmm. So yeah, there's some. They, they, so basically, Yon's Jaegers. Uh, the the assassination targets are Griffin with some clan tech. Uh, they've got uh, a cavalry lance, which is pretty mobile and dangerous. They've got an assault lance, which is spooky. I think base everything has jump jets. Okay, 
Cavalry Lance is there. The Battle Lance is dead ahead. We're going to push the Battle Lance here. Or do I wrap to... I don't think I can catch the Cavalry Lance there. Waiting for the shot. Hey there. Orders? Turn stealth armor on. See if we can get some intel. All right, we got. All right, so that's a Goliath. It's a quad. Yeah, it's a quad. It's an eighty-ton quad. Like that's a Goliath. That's the Atlas. Okay. Able to get into combat this turn. I heard something moving. I'm not seeing it at the moment. We're not going to engage this turn, I don't think. Okay, yep, there's one of the Calvary Maxes back there. Kind of in a pincer, which is not optimal, but... moving. Okay. The cold fire can go lock the Goliath. We can start lobbing some LRMs at it indirectly at least. Yeah, it's got a lot of clan tech weapons on it. Awaiting order. I'll be there before you know. Yeah, he's still got his evasion. Goliath does not. Let's start lobbing missiles. He's got DR, but. Start sandpapering him. I await your command. Heading out. Okay, red line's gonna swoop up to the front here.
on you, Commander. All right, the Avatar. Stalker. This is going to be a spicy fight, just letting you all know. Atlas moves, it's on two, that's right. Alright. So I've got an Atlas, a Mackie, and a uh, Night Star, if I remember correctly. I've done this mission before. Reserving down with us, boo. All right. Battle armor's not going to do anything. Well, it might. Probably not, though. I live to serve. Gave me line of sight to the Atlas, but I'm stealth, so I'm going to be hard to hit. Not shooting him. I'm hoping to bait that Goliath forward for the forward. Reporting. Um, don't want to use my fast units to get out there yet. Standing by. I really want to wait for him to come forward further. Um, all right, we're gonna go. We're just gonna go indirect on him. He's probably not gonna move. He's probably gonna wait. They're probably gonna reserve him down low. But I want to see if I can bait him a little bit longer. XL or regular XL? Light engine, okay. How might I help? Certainly. Just gonna keep lobbing missiles at him. We're just gonna grind his armor if he doesn't if he doesn't bait, doesn't respond to the bait. Put the Gauss rifle out. That's great. All right, he might not move here, and that's fine. Actually, at this point, that's fine. All right, if he's not if he's not responding to the bait, then I've got other plans to deal with that. Got the right torso. Critical hit. I think it was the Atlas. It was, and he's not moving, which is lovely. Good 
to go. Can we get glitch into line of sight on anybody? No, not this turn. All right. Double time. Let's move her up. That's fine. Oh, that was the Goliath. Okay, yeah, the Goliath is done. Waiting for orders. Need something, Chief? We'll get the line of sight we can the best line of sight we can get. If we can pick him off now, that's great. We defanged him before, but we might as well, you know. Still standing. Okay, there's that grasshopper I have to be careful of. What is that armed with? That's got a PPC, some flavor. Oh, that's the Night Star, never mind. Okay, that's not the grasshopper, that's the Night Star. That thing's actually dangerous. down. It's a great start. We can break the cavalry. If we can break the, the battle lance before we engage the cavalry, that'd be great. That's the Mackie. What can I do for right. you? Fire Shark and now leap over and start doing stuff. Alright. That's a big heat boost. Big heat, heat influx. influx. That's the Commander's Griffin with his Clan LRM 20. Just by positioning. Alright, um. Good to go. Yeah, we're just gonna swarm forward and try to take out this Lance here first. Uh, Mackie is running pretty cool. That's basically the loadout I've got on my Mackie, except that one has jump jets. <laughs> We've got similar numbers of units, actually. That's the interesting thing. I think we've got the same number of units outside of my battle armor. There's that grasshopper. That thing's dangerous. I'm your spaniel. Understood. Moving fast. Yeah, we'll take the pot shots at him, sure. Not great odds, but we'll take what we can get. All the Got some damage in. I'll take it. Alright, now we're done with the, the battle armor's not doing anything this turn. I don't want to do anything with the battle armor this turn. So, I'm gonna f think I'm gonna fl I'm gonna flamer and etc. The the king the the atlas again. All right. Waiting 
on you, Commander. There we go. Four, four evasion, I will take. It's not as much as I'd like, but... Jump into Vigilance here. Alright, he's running really hot. Which is great. I will be done. I'm gonna wait on you, actually. How's it going? That's pretty good. No shooting, just running. Uh, do I want a target prediction here? I don't think I want a target prediction here. I think I want a precise strike this. Not sure I'm in Confirmed. range of what I want to do, but Legend Killer. Beautiful. That gets me in a position where my line of sight, Legend Killer, is blocked off by a bunch of stuff, which is great. All right, let's precise shot this. I started taking a beating, which is lovely. Okay, they got a bunch of stuff on six. Okay, that good thing. Okay, Wolf Bane's in. Great. We've got great range on that. Beautiful. This might take the Night Star out here. Nope, just took an arm off. But he's in bad shape and destabilized. Generally, Chris is gonna. The Atlas is gonna do here. I'm actually very tempted to swarm the Atlas with the battle armor. Is the fight? These are the. Uh... That was a bit more damage to the rear armor, the rear structure than I wanted, but that's fine. Gonna move you a little bit here. Confirm. Locking on target. And we damaged him, knocked him over. Grasshopper's gonna go. Yeah. All right. Um. What can I do for you? Thanks, 
So it gives me line of sight to the, the Atlas with my plasma rifles, which is what I want. Yeah, we're going to take the medium lasers out. We're just going to fire the plasma rifles. Alright, I'm going to ignore the Atlas for now. I'm receiving you. You know, we're gonna cut, we're gonna peel this way. Got it. Archer's gonna come around this way, I think. But we're gonna lob on the we're gonna shoot on the shoot at the the night star here. All right, night star's dead. Ghost Wolf. Standing by. Let's move. Generally curious what's gonna happen to the Atlas with that much heat on it. It may just do nothing, which would be funny. Now we're gonna go for the the Mackie's head. Didn't get it, that's fine. We did hit it in the head, we just didn't get the, the kill, which is fine. I'm here. I'm not gonna run in on anything yet. I'm just gonna position myself to give myself some defense with the Raven's ECM tricks. I think I'll just sensor lock the Mackie. Let's see what the Mackie and the Atlas are up to. And the ammo detonated. Didn't kill it, but it wrecked the thing. Oh yeah, that just, just that ruined the poor thing. Lived, my god. That hit something good. My god, it survived. I'm not. I'm surprised by that. Ooh, damn! That actually good shooting text. Holy shit! That shot got past my armor. That was through seven evasion. Damn. All right. I wish it didn't zoom out on a random building, but, you know, whatever. Okay, hey, Floppy is too far from anything to do anything this turn. Stabilizing and bracing. Alright, folks, let's get this done. Alright, you're gonna dismount. Sensor range we can lock up. No, not really. All right. Sensors locked on. Oh, I should have done the fire server there. Well, oh, whatever. It's not a big deal.
Yeah, that cavalry lance is just not going to get a lot, get to do a lot this for a little while here. I hear you. Time to fly. Commencing alpha strike. Holy crap! Missed the DXR there. Boo. Didn't get as much heat on there as I was hoping, but that's fine. Actually, shoot with the the Mackey, the Raven here. This will knock the this should knock the, the Atlas over. Or kill it. All right. Um. I should really bum the DXR missed. It had good odds too. All right, that's fine. Now we're gonna target prediction this turn, I think. dismount here and do some stuff but not not yet we're gonna wait I, I haven't created I haven't created an opening yet ready for orders We are actually we're, we're 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 just mowing through this this lancer. The I will admit the Mackie getting those really good shots in the the uh, standing by on the on the uh, on the red line was actually surprising, but I will take I, it happens. So you know I'll live. Knocks it over. That hits something good. All right, I'm actually going to dismount here. What's up, boss? On my way. I need to reorder the reorder the battle armor weapons at some point. Get as much in there as I was hoping, but that's fine. That's yeah, running a light engine. That's a back shot again. God damn it! I'm hoping I can don't have to. I'm hoping I can turn red line around here soon, so I don't keep getting shot in the back. Well, there. Our key though is going to go first. Position, lob missiles, and 
hope we take the sucker out, I guess. All right, we got it. Beautiful. That was great. I'm receiving you. All right. Let's move back this way. Roger that. I'm not gonna take that long. Oh, it's only two, two EVA. Yeah, evasion. Let's see. Long range shot. To... Eh, we'll take the shot. Sure. All right, central locked in. Well, it's not a, pro not a problem. He's gonna go now, but he's got the penalties to hit, which is good. Fuck it. Seriously? How did... Why do I... Can I not have line of sight back to him? Such bullshit. Oh, God. The terrain in this game sometimes, I swear. No, I'm not going to be able to get line of sight to him. I'd like to shoot again, but I can't. Ready for orders. On my way. Double time. Pretty good odds. We'll just start dumping it fire into the grasshopper, that's fine. I can barely see him from here, and that's it. I'm okay with that, standing still with, the, with him there. your ride. Alright, we wiped out the, uh, the Battle Lance, which is good. Now all we got is the Commander, his Bodyguard, and the, the Cavalry Lance. Cavalry Lance is a pain in the butt, if I remember correctly. It's a Nighthawk. There's a Wraith in there. That Talon, yep, with a pair of Clan ER Larges. Waiting for orders. Waiting on you, Commander. Well, oh, he's got ECM, so that didn't matter. That's fine. That was, I was just, that was a test, really, more than anything, honestly. I'll race ya. All right. Um, I try to identify that, I guess. Got a lot. 
That's the Wraith. Four medium pulse lasers on a very jumpy Mac. Waiting for orders. Acknowledged. Then we're going to have to drag all my guys back from over here, but that's fine. Problems like that, like, I get not being able to get right inside of the grasshopper is vexing as all get out. Ugh, fine, whatever. Let's move. Like it's in just such a weird place. It's, oh, it's so frustrating. It's just such a weird spot. Like, it's a really annoying part, piece of terrain that it's really hard to deal with. Yep. I copy. So what we're going to do is we're going to send Red Line up this way, I think. It's got, I think it's got enough speed to get up here and get line of sight. Like, between Red Line and uh, the Archer, we should be able to do some real work to this thing. I'd like to drop that before we get to melee with anything. Like, it's actively dangerous in melee. Fighting in the city for this fight is actually really interesting. Like, the train is making things a little weird, but... Alright, the commander gets to go. That's fine. Stop. You're just embarrassing yourself. Alright, goes well. Waiting for orders. Ah yes, great, beautiful. Going full throttle. And we're gonna go for the head here just to make things easier. Although let me double check. Do you have an XL? Standard engine, right? Go for the head. Side strike. And we got him. Yep, yeah, we we had we had capped him. The the DSPL hit the head. It's just like oh, that's this thing's so evil. Okay, I don't have to worry about that thing getting into melee with me now. That makes me very happy. I'm like actually extremely happy about that. Let's see. I will be done. No shooting, just running. All right, we're not gonna be able to get line of sight with the stalker this turn. That's fine. I hear ya. I should really tempted to jump up on the building here. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Taking the high road. It's gonna be line of sight to everything. I've got the Huron Warrior, Wraith, own oh, Anvil. That's actually a little bit dangerous. Now let's work on the commander here. God damn it. Back out. There we go. Let's there we go. Now it's doing the proper thing. Primary target damage, Commander. Put some heat on him. And now the archer has line of sight for its Artemis, which means its clustering will go up. Hell yeah. Well, 
took off its PPC. That's great. That clan of your PPC is a scary, scary gun. Slice that. Tight clustering on the FTL ammo. Alright, and Turkeris yep. is way too far away to do anything. We're done. Okay, this is going very well for us. I am not complaining. I don't know what I'm gonna swap out. It depends on what we get what we get from them, I guess. Ooh, nice shot. I'm actually going to shoot him because I think I might be able to knock him over with him. Got the side torso at least. Alright. Hit him hard now. Oh, he's on it. They didn't actually knock him over. Interesting. Alright. We're gonna come through here. We're gonna be coming through here anyways, so it's not that big a deal. This should knock him over if it doesn't kill. Okay, ejected. Where is the where is the evac zone? I'm curious. I'm probably gonna go for the rest of them anyways, but on the other side of them, that's fine. All right. What can I do for you? Um, I'm actually gonna wait here. Let's see what they do. Nice shot. Alright, um standing by. Ow. No, they don't. That was rough. Okay. Um, yeah, that's the wraith. That's what the, that wraith's designed to do. Holding for the right opportunity. I don't know if the stalker can get Demelie, but. Why are they concerned with the stalker? And the archer, I mean, ow. Not much armor left. Okay. Yeah, they're hammering the poor guy. Alright. Let's see if the stalker can walk into hey, Oh, we can. That's beautiful. Alright, well, let's go. I'm actually gonna let's vigilance here before I forget. Oh, 
Oh, that, that wraith is in deep trouble now. Yeah. The stalker got got to it jumped way too close to the stalker. Ooh, that was mean. And in regular XL engine too. Oof. All right. I could DXR it, or I could central lock it. Reporting. Yeah. Oh, he's got. Oh, he's got. Anvil's got ECM, does he? Precise strike and uh, use Legend Killer's ridiculous accuracy to make him a sad panda. Okay, he's unsteady now. That's going to make a big difference. Good to go. Yeah, that boosts my that boosts my accuracy way through the right like through the roof there. I did not hit what I was trying to hit, unfortunately. Orders. Copy that. All right. All right. Took the out. Took out the. Took him out. I have four parts of them, that's not bad. Do you have XL? Do you have a uh, Guardian ECM? That's one more check on you first. No, you do not. All right, great. Standing by. Confirmed. The miles of hitting are so good, even at that rate, like, just even without, like, Guardian. Damn, even without, like, reducing his ECM. Damn. Yeah, the heavy, the heavy mediums are the only thing that don't have good odds. They don't have really good odds, I should say. You have orders? Of course. Let's not let the alarm carry get, let them get line of sight to it. Let's go, we'll go for normal rounds. Blip me laser, all right. Ready? That alarm is not gonna do anything this turn. Holding here. Okay, I didn't don't don't think I needed to do the fi the fire bu fire builds, but I I kinda like them for this fight. They were actually pretty good. So I want to take a look at the app. The... Not 
Not bad, not bad. Ahmed's not going to shoot this turn. He's just going to do his uh, sensor lock shenanigans. I've got a sensor lock. Waiting on you, Commander. Taking the high road. He doesn't run hot. That guy doesn't run very hot, but. Knock you back in initiative some. Take this. Now you're toasty. We'll see if he survives this uh, barrage from him. I strike. I want to knock him, I'm going to keep knocking him back. If he lives, he li if he lives, great. If he dies, he dies. That's fine. Oh, he's been destabilized. Holding for tactical advantage. All, All right, Legend Killer, do your thing. It's been kicking out a lot. It just think just in case that's so much damage. In case you survive somehow. He's just not going for a while. Alright. Reserve in action. Commander? Glitch, yep. Take your shots here. Let's see what we can do here. I figured that was gonna wipe that was gonna wipe him. Bonus damage on the plasma rifles from being overheated also on top of everything else that just went wrong for him. Sensor lock you. Sensors locked on. I've got I've got the ability to do that, so Commander. I'll run behind you and see if we can oh god, look at those numbers. look at our oh my god, look at our numbers. Even through three evasion. Alright, precise shot. This is probably GG here. Large VSPL has been really good on this thing. And there we go. Yoan's Jaeger's down. Well, we're going to get a one of their mechs, and depending on what it is, we'll swap it out for something we've got in storage. We got it, we already have, so. I don't, I legitimately don't know what it, I, there's some of them there I probably won't keep. Actually, I'll probably throw it into storage immediately. Like, I probably won't, like, if I got the Grasshopper, I'll probably throw it into storage. It's interesting, but not great, in my opinion. Um, plus they're, they're going to auto they're, we get free repairs out of this too so that was fun Well, we did we did well there.
I hope you guys enjoyed that. That was fun. Oh, we got the anvil. That's interesting. All right. That is actually an interesting mech. And 750,000 sea bills. I don't know what I'm going to replace the anvil with, replace with the anvil, but... Honestly? We might replace the... Uh... That mech you wanted is back online. <sighs> Honestly, I'm going to drop the Wraith for now. We can The Wraith is an easy rebuild, so... Let's take a look at the anvil. We can bring the wraith back anytime I really want to. It's a big thing, so I'm not gonna. I'm not going to sell it. So it is two large pulse lasers, two medium lasers, a late engine, five jump jets. It's a good Mac. Like I probably play around to build some because it's a little. It feels a little undergunned, but this plus one targeting too. That's nice. I could like flap an XL gyro on it. That frees up a ton and a half. I had another snubby. I might run those instead of those large pulses, honestly. Do we have more PPC FCSs? I don't remember. No, I used I used them up on the uh I used those up on the uh But yeah, like it gets plus one accuracy from the from the anvil, it gets plus one from being a hero mech. We can we can we can work something up with this. I think I think I can do something interesting with this. I mean, heck, I could theoretically like go to like three large pulses. Like a medium X pulse in the head. I don't have the tonnage for that. Okay. I mean, like, throw a couple laser insulators on here. Getting our small. Drop the air small, then we don't have the room for it. And just up the armor. I want at least 55 rear. Not bad. That's just not bad. Let's try to work the target computer in. I'll figure it out later. I'm not going to play with it too much, but like that's something like that's possible. I can throw the heavy tar comp on and maybe do something with that. I don't know. It's an interesting mech. But, let's save the game here. Do, do, do. 
Do, 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 do. But that's going to do it for this here episode. <laughs> uh, thank you, everybody, for joining me today. I guys, hope you guys all had fun with it. Um, I think that's a fun mission, honestly. Um, but yeah, I, by the way, I, the Wraith is a good mech. I, I might bring that back. I might drop something else for it. Drop something else out for it. I'll figure that out. I need to make, I need to make room. I got to figure out what we're going to throw into storage. Um, probably I'm leaning towards throwing the, uh, the hatch into storage. I'm, uh, honestly, I, the groovy probably should be thrown into storage. It's not very good, but it's neat. I don't know. Um, but yeah, uh, if you enjoyed the episode, I'd appreciate, you know, appreciate it if you felt, if you felt up to it and you were it is in your wheelhouse or what have you, I, I'm having trouble talking right now, but like, comment, share, subscribe. You all know the deal. It's a big help with the algorithm and all that jazz. Um, also I stream on Twitch, twitch.tv slash mechagm. Come check me out there. Most week afternoons I'm streaming. I play Battletech on Mondays and Thursdays starting at 2.30 p.m. Eastern, going about 7 p.m. Eastern. Play other games on Tuesdays and Fridays and Sundays is my flex day when I can play whatever I feel like playing. Um, but yeah, that's going to do it for today, guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed this. Uh, I'm looking forward to playing around that Wraith a bit. I'm looking forward to check out, check out that Mackie in action. Um, yeah. Anyways, uh, as I said, I uh, hope to see you all next time. Until I see you next, be happy, be safe, keep on gaming, folks, and I'll see you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.